not feeling great. Hi, hello, welcome back. This week's video, we're going to try to document uh, leading up to playing a show. My band, Red Pants, that I play in with my friend Elsa. We will be playing at the Burr Oak in Madison, Wisconsin. We don't do too many shows, and we don't plan to do too many more this year, so I thought it'd be uh, nice to document this adventure. I thought to kick off the video, I would go through my setup as the guitarist. I have two jazz masters that are the Squire variety. I recently had picked up a Jaguar because I just wanted a backup in case a string broke or something, and I didn't like it. I don't know. I just love the Jazz Master. The pickups do it for me, I guess. I traded in the Jaguar and got this one just, just a week or two ago. Elsa and I practiced last weekend, so I got to try it out. it a lot behind me here this uh, little orange amp let's let's go over the pedal board and maybe make some sounds into a uh, garage band let's start with the bottom which is a piece of carpet that I, I ripped off this idea from Alan Sparhawk I love it because it's light and it was in my basement came with my house <laughs> so I didn't have to do anything to uh, procure it and uh, just throw your pedals on there and go. Got the Boss Tuner to the CVEX Fuzz Factory. And then going into the, this is a Moon Op Amp Fuzz by Keeley. I just got this like a week ago and it's awesome. I love it. It's, I don't know any specifics about it, but I know that this switch makes it more just like a regular fuzz or distortion pedal but if you kick it into the middle it's like really dark and really heavy and doomy <laughs> and so I, I love it um, i'm really excited to experiment with that more in the future but yeah i'm going to use it at the show anyway um, then i'm going into the red panda particle and it's a delay pedal that kind of modulates things and chops things up kind of weirdly and that's also been pretty prominent on the last two Red Pants albums. And then this is the Bose, the, sorry, by Earthquaker Devices. It's like a germanium preamp. It's a, uh, yeah, it's a really, it's like my favorite boost pedal that I've ever heard, but I haven't really worked with a lot of boost pedals. So I'm not like a, an aficionado on boost pedals, but I bought, that thing several years ago and it's like the only pedal that besides the tuner that hasn't left my configuration let's go ahead and play through some sounds here and then we'll take it from there we are in the open d which is i believe a d a d f sharp a and D. I've become a fan of Open D and Open G and also on the last album uh, Elsa and I both enjoyed a pavement, we call it the pavement tuning, I think it's D-A-D-A-B-E, Dad Abe. We're in Open D today. Um, this has become kind of a, you know, we're more of a recording project so playing live is uh, becoming a little bit weird with the tuning situation. So I am going to use two guitars. I think I'm going to have this one just in a standard tuning and then, um, and then switch to the red guitar for the open tunings. To the pedal board. The uh, Earthquaker Bose is always on. It never leaves my side. I love it. You'll maybe notice that, the, that it's last in the ch pedal chain, which is kind of new for me. I just I've been using tremolos a lot lately, and uh, also I was using the rat pedal a lot. I would notice that the, the volume would, would dip. 
considerably whenever I kick those on. So uh, I, I had the idea to actually move the the boost at the end of the chain, but then I'm not even using either of those pedals. But I still kind of liked the sound, even though it might be wrong. I don't really care as long as I'm enjoying it. I've had I've had the most success having the fuzz factory go into the the uh, the bows. I figured having the new extra fuzz pedal here would also benefit going into it. So that's what we're doing. Um, but we'll start with the particle delay. Kind of got a weird modulation cave tone to it. And then the other one is another sort of random. Those are my two sounds on that that I use. So this is the Fuzz Factory. Yeah, so that's that's pretty much that. Um, I've found that this is the setting that I like. I just crank the volume depending on the situation, like when we're at practice and stuff. This is the new guy, the Keeley Moon Op Amp Fuzz. I think it's got a lot of potential. I'm really excited about that. I think that's it for this evening. Not feeling great. A little stuffy nose, a little sinus thing. I've got, this is what, two days until the show. In the history of Red Pants, we played one show in 2019. I was sick the week before, and I lost my voice, but it kind of came back beforehand. We didn't play any shows until last fall in October. We played, and that one was fine. We played our third show in January, and I got sick. And I had my voice, but I lost it towards the end of the set because I was still getting over being sick. So this is our fourth show, and I'm hoping <laughs> that I don't, that I'm not sick. I'm I'm I've already uh, taken tomorrow off. Tomorrow's a Friday, and so I'm just gonna rest tomorrow, drink tea. I'm going to try to push through tonight and go ahead and get merch and figure it out. So. Let's do that right now. We got this. All right, here's what we've got going. We've got these cassette buttons made. People have been telling me to do something with this drawing for a long time in the way of merch, so so I did so I finally did that. Little super tiny four track stickers that I love them. They, I think that they turned out great. So we got the records, buttons, and and stickers. And then I dug out some tapes. I found a couple copies of uh, our album, our last album, and our last EP that came out in 2022. I knew I had copies of this. I just had to print the and make the J card. I'm gonna put what's left over up on the Bandcamp. So. Hopefully by the time I post this, there'll be a few copies of the cassette back up on Bandcamp.